Well, yeah, so the, the basic, I suppose the basic thing is if you, if you have a really good game, you're basically halfway there, but then the other half is sort of really important because that's the point where you actually, you know, start being a company or, or start earning money. Um, and that used to be sort of a bad thing. Like people didn't really like creativity and money together because they thought that sort of muddled each other. I think it's not necessarily, I think it's actually um, um, pretty logical that if you make something really cool that you can earn money of it and try to earn enough money to make more cool stuff. Um, and I, I think that is that is a core consideration. Like you should never, or at least we don't like to have money as a core consideration in our design. In, in our design. We don't make games for money. We make games because we want to make those games. Um, and I think keeping those two sort of separate is really important while you're making your game. Now, when your game is done, that is the point where we start looking, like, how could we earn money with it? Um, and at that point, it just becomes really important to think about um, what kind of people would like the game. Uh, where would you offer it? How would you offer it? Um, how are you going to market this? Uh, for some games, it's pretty obvious. Like for roof drivers, it's it's pretty obvious that the way we're going to market it is through the the pretty um, dark visual style. Like it's pretty it's a pretty striking visual style. We're just going to um, continue on the the context we had from previous games, um, and then we're going to do some interesting stuff with like the whole the whole um, fiction around it. Um, for some other stuff, it's it's less obvious, and at that point, it just becomes sort of you against, not really against, but you together with the press. Um, one of the things I usually say is, is that um, the press is sort of trying to do, the, the game's press is sort of trying to do the same things that we try to do, right? They try to bring good video games to the people, we try to make the video games and then bring them to the people. So in a way, we're sort of sharing the same, um, we try to do the same thing just in a different way. So that is something that is pretty important to realize. And then the other thing you should realize is that uh, a lot of the press just doesn't have a lot of time. It's, it's, they get hundreds of emails about interesting video games. Um, so why would they pick yours? and write about that. So a lot of things, things that you can do to um, get your game attention, which is what you need if you want to be on Steam or if you want to, to sell your game, you, you need that attention. You need people to be talking about your game. So one is you just get your press right. You make sure that, that people know about your game. You email the press. I, I heard once or one time, about somebody who was complaining to somebody in the press that they hadn't picked up on a game they made, and they had screenshot and everything on WhatsApp, but they just hadn't emailed any press. And the press doesn't automatically pick up on a game. Um, so you email the press. You, you make sure um, if if you if you like doing that, we really enjoy communicating with our fans. So you you notify your fans that something big is happening. And um, you just reply to everything. That's what we've always done. We just reply to everyone on Twitter, on Facebook, as, as much as we can, as much as we can spend on that. We just answer everything. And um, I think it's kind of important to realize that we need the facts more than they need us. Uh, and that if we disappear, there's because it's doing other studios that might do or might try to do what we do. Uh, like we lose the fans for basically gone. So it's it's really important to realize that the way that works is the fans help you and not necessarily the other way around. 